Welcome to our pay-per-view special, Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada, for a much-anticipated main event. Ten rounds of heavyweights between these two great warriors. Douglas is making his way to the ring with a determined giddy-up in his step. Ellis is on his way to the ring right now, and you can see how excited he is for this one. Lots of confidence. Gentlemen, one thing, protect yourself at all times. Okay? Let's catch him up. Well, get to know you here in the opening round scheduled for 10. Teddy, in your training career, when you've gone up against a power puncher like we have in the ring tonight, do you prefer to have a fighter like this opposite him, a guy that'll fight on the outside? Yeah, I want a guy that's a little bit scared. He's got a darn good reason to be scared. If he's not, he's gonna get knocked out. Stay away from that power. <laughs> Solid right hands headline that exchange. <laughs> Ellis is coming up with the answer, is avoiding that punch. opening up now. Boy, that could be a factor later on. One minute to go in this round. Neither man has decided to slow down at all. Oh, boy, what a round. We talk about strength, we talk about power, we talk about speed. What about a fighter's ability to have to listen? A fighter has to be able to grab from all quarters, from all dimensions, all places where he can be helped. If he can go in the corner and he listens to his trainer, and he's able to take that information, something that maybe he wasn't able to see, and trust it, and be able to make that adjustment, he's helped himself. The same way as a football player who goes to the sidelines and he's told by his coach, hey, this receiver's open. I know you're not seeing him. Any way that you can listen, you can help yourself. He comes in undefeated. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Thank <laughs> you. 
Fine fundamentals, good counter punch. get a chance to grab those hands and tie them up. And then he can kill a little of the clock, survive. Douglas is banged by an uppercut. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Ellis is making for a very inviting target right now. That cut is much worse than it was just moments ago. What he has to do is he's got to be elusive right now. He's got to get on his horse a little bit and give those medicines that were put into the cut a chance to work a little bit. But also, he's got to slow his opponent down. Catch him with something so he doesn't keep going after that eye. just the way he had to. Stay on the outside and use those quick hands all night. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us ringside. <laughs>